The STAR Excursion Balance Test and the Y Balance Test are both functional tests used to assess dynamic balance control and muscular stability of the lower extremities. In addition, these tests can also be used as a screening tool to identify those at increased risk of injury. By measuring maximum extension in different directions, the tests can demonstrate how well an individual can support and control their body weight on one leg and whether there are differences or imbalances in muscular control between the right and left leg. The tests can also be used to monitor and assess progress in rehabilitation to determine if treatment has been successful and if function and stability have improved. Due to the similarity of the two tests, only the STAR excursion balance test will be described and carried out in this video. Differences will be pointed out. The following materials are required to carry out the test. Solid ground. Materials for noting results. Sticky tape and measuring tape. A Y balance test kit can be used for the Y balance test. The test should be performed in a room with adequate space. Depending on which test is carried out, a star or Y shape is taped to the floor. With the star shape, it is important that the strips are taped to each other at a 45 degree angle. If a Y balance test kit is available, this is simply placed on the floor and the sliding blocks are brought into the starting position. To be able to carry out the test optimally, the test person should warm up. Exercises that improve proprioception and balance are beneficial. When performing the test, the test person should wear comfortable clothing and take off their shoes to be able to make good contact with the ground. The test person is familiarized with the procedure of the test. Four to six practice attempts are allowed before the test begins. Place one foot on the center of the star shape and keep the other leg in the air with hands placed on the hips. Extend the free leg and touch the position that is furthest away while maintaining balance. When standing on the left leg, the exercise is performed in a clockwise direction. When standing on the right leg, the exercise is performed in a counterclockwise direction. The instructor measures the distance between the center and the point where the free leg touched the ground. The toes should only touch the ground lightly. Repeat the test three times with each leg. Attempts are invalid if the line is not touched. The centered foot is shifted. The balance is lost. The starting position cannot be held for at least one second. And if the body is significantly supported by the moving foot, for the date analysis, the Y balance test uses the best distance, while the star excursion balance test uses the calculated average. In the star excursion balance test, the average distance in each direction is calculated. The average distance is then divided by leg length and multiplied by 100. The composite score is obtained by averaging the values of all directions. If the composite scores of the two legs differ, this indicates imbalances in muscular control. The STAR excursion balance test and the Y balance test provide a quantitative assessment of an individual's balanceability, allowing for objective comparisons and tracking of progress over time. Moreover, the tests involve reaching in multiple directions, simulating real-life movements, and assessing dynamic balance, making it more ecologically valid compared to static balance tests. Research also suggests that performance on the tests can help identify individuals at high risk of lower limb injuries, such as ankle sprains. Furthermore, the tests can be used in rehabilitation settings to monitor progress and guide treatment interventions, helping to improve balance, 
proprioception, and neuromuscular control. However, both tests also have negative aspects. For example, performing the tests requires a degree of dexterity and coordination, which can be difficult, especially for patients with injuries or the elderly. The results can also be affected by factors such as fatigue or pain, which can lead to limited test accuracy.